Hello, 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 everybody here is Dr. Wild again talking about different topics and science. Remember, guys, that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hmr.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Wild which topics do we have? Research, community education, gear delivery hours, and achievement. The title of the article to review today is Working for Systematic Change in Medicine. Like so many millions throughout the world, I was appealed and sickened by the killing of George Floyd. It was a vile act that made the scourge of racism in this country evident to all people of conscience. It is aftermath, thousands have raised their voice to demand accountability and change in the many institutions of this nation that intentionally or unintentionally perpetuate racism and societal injustice. Harvard Medical School has not been immune of this calls and is acting to effect change that will set us on a course to challenge and erase racism in our communities and our professions. We hope that our change will agree with those of others to be real healing to our nations. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind to everybody who's listened to Dr. Wawile that we do mostly days these beautiful reviews. I continue straight away doing this review. In June, Team for Medical Education, Edward Hunter commissioned the program in medical education task force to address racism and named Andrea Ray, Associate Dean for Students and Multicultural Affairs for PME and Director of the Office of Recruitment and Multicultural Affairs and Fidencio team for students or church chairs with making of death internal analysis of all aspects of PME. The group has for comments now working to identify their where racism lives in the PME experience, incorporate anti racism education into their curriculum, develop concrete action plans to combat racism in PME, and most importantly, develop a monitoring and reporting structure to address racist actions in real time going forward. We expect draft recommendations in February 2021. Members of these groups are committed to revealing the trash and making bold recommendations. It is my hope that the work will completely move to analyze and develop anti racist recommendations for other parts of our community, including staff development, faculty diversity, and the graduate students' experience. Our approach to this review exemplifies how we achieve continuous quality improvements across Harvard Medical School. Whether in research, education, or clinic, we engage in critical inquiry, investigation, and analysis, followed by defined actions. That's how science advances, and it is how medicine and medical education change. All of us must work for systematic change. Those of us who do not navigate daily life as a person of color must be aware and mindful of the emotional and physiological toll that over and cover racism takes our colleagues, trains, students, and patients. It is essential to learn how to become the best ally possible. We all know that the changes we need to make to express our better angels cannot be defined only in rules, recommendations, or laws. They must must be life. The 
work ahead will be challenging. The road to even the smallest millstones step and often will require to extend one another at helping hand. We are beginning this work at Harvard Medical School and we know that there will be no end. We are members of a profession that has continually bettered itself by looking inward, by striving to see things anew and by making change so that we might always fulfill our pledge to not only do no harm but also to improve health and well-being for all. Alright guys, remember you can download this beautiful review at the Harvard Medical School magazine and the title is Working for Systematic Change in Medicine. It's been a pleasure for me today to introduce to this beautiful article and remind to everybody that you are also free to go into the official website at Harvard University. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye bye.